Hey guys, Dave of My Freedom Smokes here. Today I'm going to talk to you about a bunch of different products we have in from Smoke. Uh, we've done reviews on all these products individually. Um, you may find yourself on our website looking at some of these products and you see they're all the same brand and wondering maybe what the difference is in all these Smoke products. Um, what can you expect with each of them? Which one may be right for you? Uh, so I'm just kind of go through and compare all of them and kind of give some um, basically what they're geared for, who they're geared for. Uh, the first one I have here, the one I actually was been vaping on throughout the video, will be the Smoke uh, V8 Stick. It's just going to be a simple battery tube style design, similar to like your Ego pins you may already have if you're somebody just starting out. Um, same functions, you know, your five clicks on, five clicks off. Real simple, no settings or anything. And it comes with the, their Smoke Baby be uh, Big Baby Beast, which is a five mil capacity tank with a top fill. Uh, this one's going to be real good for somebody that's coming up from the Ego style batteries or wanting to get in a sub ohm but they're not really quite ready for a bunch of settings and stuff to go through. This would be a good one for you. Or somebody that already is advanced and has like a box mod or something, wants something a little smaller to carry with them, still with plenty of power. Uh, the V8 stick would be a good idea for you to have. Uh, next up is gonna be a more, again, towards maybe the lower end starter types uh, or somebody wanting a smaller device. It's the O-Sub-1. The O-Sub-1 is gonna be an all-in-one. Your tank is actually built into the top you got adjustable airflow up here, and then uh, you open it up, and the whole thing's kind of like a cup design. We've seen a bunch of companies do similar designs to this, where the coil actually attaches to the top. You fill your liquid in and put it back in. Um, these are really cool because they're nice and stealthy, easy to conceal, lower profile because you don't have a big tank sticking up off the top of it. It does have the side fire. The side fire is a common feature we see in a lot of their products. Um, this one does have a built-in battery. Um, so you just would cut it on with that side fire, cut it off, and then just charge it right through the USB. Um, but you see my hand wraps around it pretty good. It's just the little top actually sticking out there. Uh, next up, we're going to go with the Baby Alien. Uh, it's the smaller version of the Alien. I probably should actually show the Alien first. The Alien is going to be either a dual 18650, 220 watt device. You put both your batteries in the bottom here. Again, it comes with a side fire. It also comes with their V8 Baby Beast. We saw the Big Baby comes with the V8 stick. Smaller tank, uses the same coil, same great tank, same top fill. It's just a smaller capacity. Um, these come in a wide range of colors. Got a nice little carbon fiber look to them. Um, great little tank for somebody who wants a dual 18650. Somebody wants around 200, 220 watts is the max on this one. You want a nice high capacity but small in the hand box mod, the Alien would be a good one for you. Uh, then we'll move on to the Alien uh, AL85 or Baby Alien is commonly called. Again, comes with your Baby Beast tank. This one runs a single 18650 that goes into the little cap here. Um, and you just put your battery in there, similar to the iStick Pico. Uh, same kind of board and everything on this is the 220 watt, you're just getting 85 watts. This one's good for somebody that wants a smaller mod, uh, don't necessarily need like 200 watts, you know, 60, 75 watts, depending on what coil you're using. Um, and you want something nice and small, side fire, the whole thing's in my hand pretty much, just a tank sticking out the top. Um, now, for those of you that like to build and you want something that's got a good capacity on the tank uh, and still really good low profile, they have the Skyhook. It's a 220 watt device again, the 18650 batteries. Um, this one you actually build your own coils for and then the top of the device itself has a built-in tank. Um, I believe off the top of my head it was nine milliliters of liquid so you get a good bit of liquid this thing stores in it. Um, the Big Baby Beast is only five so almost double the liquid in this. And you just take this cap off and you fill the liquid in there. Um, this one would be good for somebody that likes to tinker around and wants to build some coils uh, or they want something that's going to be good for the long haul or maybe a long road trip or something that's going to hold a lot of liquid for you so you're not having to constantly refill. Uh, being an RDTA, it's going to give flavor similar to a regular dripper, but it does have that big 9 mil juice capacity on there. So this would be a good one for somebody like that. And then last but not least, we got the G320. Um, this is the Marshall. This one can be run as a two battery or a three battery device. Um, if you run it as two battery configuration, you're getting a 220 watts like the Alien and the Skyhook. But when you put the third battery in there, you can go up to 320 watts. Now the Marshall is a much bigger one. This is probably going to be more so somebody that really wants some good high wattage. 
uh, they want the battery capacity you're going to get with three batteries or just something nice to have sitting around the house you know you're not really wanting to travel with I mean some people do pocket some of the size I myself like to carry three battery, battery mods a lot um, this one does not have the side fire this one actually has a button and it comes with the big baby beast as well so you got basically a starter and then their top of the line one right here both have that same tank so that again shows how great this little v8 stick kit is you get a really nice tank um, so if you decide you want to upgrade from that you can go with a different device and already have a great tank to go with it um, but that basically is going to cover just the differences in them all they're all going to be they all kind of appeal to different people different taste um, anything from a pen style basically up to a three battery 320 watt device so they got a little bit of something for everybody if you have any questions about any smoke products uh, we do have individual videos for all of them like I've said or you can always shoot us a comment down below and ask us a question um, as always this is David with My Freedom Smokes and thank you for vaping mm -hmm.